This is Lindsay, and we're back live at IMAX 19 here in what is turning out to be an incredibly sunny day in Frankfurt, which is great after all the rain. I am thrilled to death. Today is a day of thrilling for Lindsay because we were able to get Sean Vorsters from the Dubai 2020 project to come in and talk about this ambitious trade show that's really going to leave a legacy in the meetings and hospitality space. So welcome. Well, thank you very much. So thank you for having me. And absolutely. I think it's coming somewhere back of an excellent IMAX show. It is. I've, every time I walk over by Dubai, I feel like literally there are lines coming around the corner. Well, there's one of these exceptional experiences. We've got a new product. An exciting product, probably one of the biggest mega events in the world. It happens every five years. And we're now ready to start engaging the market about all the exciting offerings. So tell a little bit for everybody who might not know what Dubai 2020 is. Can yeah. you explain it a little bit more? So look, World Expo is one of the oldest international institutions. It happens every five years. It dates back to London, 168 years ago. Wow. And we will be hosting an exceptional World Expo. We uh, have invited every country in the world to participate. 192 countries have now confirmed participation. That's amazing. We're developing a destination the size of just over 400 football fields of immersive <laughs> experiences, amazing architecture, 200 food and beverage outlets of cuisine from every corner of the world. So it's going to be an exceptional event. The countries all construct their own pavilions, mm -hmm. and the innovative architecture will tell stories in themselves, mm -hmm. immersive content and exhibitions inside, but then also in the rest of the Expo 2020 site, the destination, you have so many different cultural performances, gastronomy, something for youth, something for thought leaders, something for business, mm -hmm. so it's really for, for every visitor segment out there. Absolutely. Now, now the pavilions, the way that it's kind of shaped like a flower and then it expands out, and the middle pavilion is going to have this amazing, it looked almost blue on the rendering, where you're going to be running programming nearly every day of the event, correct? Yes. So the Wazel Plaza, the dome in the middle of our site, uh, it's really the pulsating heart of the site. It's, uh, it will be the world's biggest uh, projection dome. Uh, and it'll help us also in the evenings, amazing shows on there to entertain visitors. It's, uh, it's 150 meters diameter, uh, 70 meters high. That's about 10 meters taller than the leading tower of Pisa. Wow. Uh, so it'll be an amazing architectural piece, but also a venue for programming. And as you said, then from there you branch out into three petals. Mm -hmm. There's a district for sus sustainability, mm -hmm. one for opportunity and one for mobility. And those are our three sub-themes. And uh, the overall expo theme is connecting minds, creating the future. And that's where we're uniting uh, all our efforts. It's, mm -hmm. it's demonstrating the power of collaboration right. to tackle big issues that really matter, these universal drivers of human progress. But doing so for leisure visitors in a fun, entertaining way, right. and for governments and business in a way that creates value. Now, I was talking with someone from your team, and Charlotte was sharing that there's an educational component built into this, too, that children from K through 12 can come free of charge and experience just all these different elements built for adults but brought mm. down to their level. Mm. So, look, a World Expo is always, it's also about education. Right. And, and education is some of the big global challenges that we face as a global community. And therefore, we've designed really entertaining but immersive journeys that matter mm -hmm. to young people. That's age appropriate and that's curriculum appropriate. Right. So we know every morning during school terms on the site, we'll have many school children there learning about the rest of the world, seeing the whole world in one destination. Right. And also in that way broadening their horizons and, and seeing innovation, just sort of you know, seeing the future right. really through the window of the World Expo. That's amazing. And how many children do you think that you'll end up serving? We expect that roughly just over 25,000 school children during school terms on the site every morning wow. in school hours. That's crazy. Uh, but you must see that in context. On an average day, a World Expo will have 150,000 visitors. Uh, on a peak day, we can cope with up to 300,000. So we expect 25 million visits during the six-month event. That's amazing. And 70% uh, of our visitors expected to be international. Mm -hmm. So it's really a World Expo for the whole world. That's great. And so one final question. What's the one thing I should have asked you about the Expo that I haven't oh. yet? Well, I think here we were at IMAX, and it's all about the mice industry, right. business events, meetings, incentives, conferences. Uh, as part of our offering at Expo, although it's by and large an event event for the leisure tourism segment. Mm -hmm. 
We also understand that the countries that invest in pavilions and the big corporates that invest in the expo right. also want to create B2B value. Right. It's about trade flow, investment flow, about creating opportunities for associations mm -hmm. to plug into the biggest gathering of minds in the world. Absolutely. And that's why we've also constructed the Dubai Exhibition Centre. Mm -hmm. It's a 45,000 square meter state-of-the-art exhibition and conference centre. Uh, 300 meters walk from Al Wazel, uh, right at the new metro station, which uh, is being built for Expo. Wonderful. And we'll be doing, we've got 15 exhibition halls there, 24 meeting rooms for up to 100 people. So it's really our platform to also say to countries, to associations, to industry, trade, to say, here's an opportunity to do MICE events, business right. events, right. under a global magnifying glass and can amplify that globally uh, to also add value to you. And, and that's something that we're taking to the market and why we're here at IMAX. Oh, well, I'm so excited. I get to go to Dubai this summer, and so I know that you and I are going to be speaking more. We've got more to come as well just here coming in. We're going to be hearing a little bit of songs, a little bit of dance, a little bit more fun from IMAX. We'll see you soon.